Spiralite is made from high-density polyethylene that is engineered to withstand crushing, buckling, and collapse with proper installation. The inherent ductility of Spiralite pipe allows it to adjust to routine shifting ground conditions without cracking or breaking. Available in diameters up to 120 inches and larger, Spiralite is produced in four standard strength classes. You'll be seeing this stuff all over the United States within the next few years, I, I suspect. We've laid, we've laid Spiralite from uh, down by San Diego all the way up through Bakersfield. Spiralite pipe can be stacked and transported economically, maneuvered easily, and installed quickly with a small crew. Spiralite arrives in bundles and is easily offloaded and stored. Although Spiralite pipe is tough and durable, avoid dropping it from the truck to the ground. When pipe is not bundled, a forklift or boom and crane may be used to move the pipe. Take care, however, not to impact the pipe with forks or sharp edges. When using forks on a front end loader, avoid rolling the pipe back suddenly and impacting the pipe against the bucket edge. Store pipe on flat, level ground with no large rocks under the pipe. It's definitely a lot better to me than putting in the clay tile because that clay tile weighs so much, it's so hard to move it around. This stuff, this is a little, this, this inch is getting a little big, but the smaller stuff, you can just push it back and forth. Johnny does really It good still stuff. is light for the size of the pipe. Though. Right. So we like Spiralite. <laughs> we do, we do like Spiralite. I do anyway. Spiralite is a flexible pipe that is designed to deflect under soil loads. This deflection is controlled or limited by constructing a firm, stable envelope of soil around the pipe. This embedment envelope should be placed against undisturbed native ground. This process starts with the removal of all loose soil that has sloughed into the trench bottom. You can now proceed with placement of clean embedment soil on the trench bottom. This layer and each succeeding layer is compacted. Compaction removes voids and increases the supporting strength of the soil envelope. Once compaction is complete, the trench is backfilled. When the soil envelope is constructed properly, the pipe shows little deflection after backfilling. A method of reducing or offsetting deflection is to oval the pipe upward prior to installation. This can be accomplished by temporarily strutting the pipe. After backfilling a strutted pipe and removing the struts, the soil loads will deflect the pipe to a near round shape. Done properly, this procedure reduces deflection. On this big diameter pipe here, uh, and in this heat, when the pipe lays up on top of the ground, it sits right at your tolerance. And within, with strutting the pipe, it'll bring, we're strutting the 42 inch out to 44 inches. And the 54, we're taking it out to 57 inches. To, which when you take the struts out, it'll bring it right, right back into, right back into where it's supposed to be. So, I feel it's a safe way of doing it. Uh, takes, it's a little bit time consuming, not much. Though, uh, we've been strutting with the loader. Strutting typically is used for pipe 48 inches in diameter and larger. Struts can be cut from 2x4s to a length that is 3% larger than the pipe diameter. They are removed in the trench after soil has been compacted around the sides for support, but before any backfill is added above the pipe. Ovaling occurs with most polyethylene pipe during storage. For pipe 42 inches in diameter and smaller, struts are normally not used. Orient any ovality in the vertical direction. Because ovaling is so slight, it requires measuring the pipe to determine the proper orientation. Prior to placement of the pipe in the trench, the joint must be prepared for assembly. Spiralite pipe is designed with a bell and spigot gasketed joint. The gasket should be applied to clean spigot ends just prior to installation of the pipe. Once the gasket is placed in the spigot groove, stress relieving the gasket with a screwdriver will allow the rubber to uniformly stretch and form a tight seal. Keep the spigot end clean before and during assembly. Before pipe is lowered into the trench, bedding must be placed into the trench to provide a stable base. In wet ground, a layer of rock may be required underneath the bedding. In dry, stable ground, normally six inches of select bedding is adequate support. It is best to compact bedding since it will also support the embedment beside the pipe. Pipe should be lifted with a nylon sling. 
Before pipe is joined, the inside of the bell and outside of the spigot end with gasket in place should be coated with an approved lubricant. This assures smooth joining and keeps the gasket from twisting. Small diameter pipe can be joined with come-alongs. However, the easiest and safest way is to home the joint with a backhoe. A plank centered at the bell will even the load from the backhoe bucket. Push with a steady force. Pushing on the bell without the plank may cause the pipe wall to buckle. Attempting to pull the joint together with a cable or strap could damage the ribs. When properly installed, spiralite joints seal tight. One thing about it is it doesn't leak. It seals real good. The joints go home and seal real well. Bedding placement and proper choice of bedding material is important in controlling pipe deflection. The best embedment soils are granular soils, such as sands, natural gravels, and crushed rock. Angular crushed rock is the best of these. It has more tolerance for errors, it drains fast, and consolidates with the least compaction effort. All bedding should be placed with mechanical compaction, using a gasoline tamper or vibratory sled. This may seem unnecessary with crushed rock, but it breaks down bridging, consolidates the rock, and forces the rock into the native soil beside the trench. The only thing about spiralite is you have to compact the sides to make sure it doesn't squish. It's a little more flexible than other pipe is. It's real nice in this ground. It goes in real decent. Tampons a little wild, but we get it done. There is one exception to this rule. In dry, shallow cover of 18 feet or less, Crushed rock may be placed using shovel slicing for compaction. After the pipe has been placed in the trench and joined, placement and compaction of the embedment begins. Bedding material is added in several compacted lifts to ensure a firm and stable envelope of soil is achieved. The first lift is dumped along the sides of the pipe. It should be shoveled under the haunches to fill the voids for proper support. When compacting bedding, it is important to keep the trench bottom dry. Dewater if necessary. When dry sand is used, slight wetting will make compaction easier. However, if the soil gets too wet, tampers will sink and compaction will be impossible. Jetting or water flooding as a means of compacting the embedment are not permitted with flexible pipe. Erosion and loss of soil support will occur. Each lift of bedding should not exceed one foot in depth. Three to four passes over a lift are normally sufficient for achieving compaction. Compacted bedding material should occur to 12 inches above the pipe. Some jobs, such as those located in streets or very deep jobs, may call for more compaction. The engineer's specification will verify the required level. I think, um, well, like concrete, you don't worry about compaction too much. Like spell, like, you gotta make sure you have enough compaction so you don't have any deformation on the pipe. Pipe's all been staying uh, within spec, which I'm real happy about. Uh, we've been getting a lot of soils tests on the pipe, one side of the pipe over top of the pipe. The embedment material should be compacted to a density of at least 90% of the standard Proctor density. Soil density can be checked by using a nuclear densometer. Placement and compaction of trench backfill above the pipe is typically done with construction vehicles. There should be at least three feet of compacted cover placed over the pipe before driving construction vehicles over the pipe. It is a good idea to monitor deflection closely when first starting up a job. Usually the first two to 400 feet installed is checked by the contractor for quality control. The engineer will normally allow 5% deflection. If deflection looks high, adjustments to the installation technique can be made. For instance, strutting and compaction might be checked and considered the source. It is best to measure the pipe after the trench is completely backfilled and allowed to settle overnight. Trench excavations can be hazardous. Safe working procedures for the conditions of the job site should always be followed. When installing pipe in wet ground or deep trenches, trenches are normally shored rather than sloped. Shoring is usually accomplished with a movable trench box, which can help prevent sidewalls from caving in and causing an accident. One particular precaution is to keep the trench box at a safe height above the bottom of the trench, so the trench walls will not cave in beneath the sides of the box. 
When installing flexible pipe with a trench box, it is important not to disturb the native soil alongside the pipe. This is accomplished by digging out the trench below the pipe crown level from inside the box. This series of visuals illustrates proper trench box movement and positioning. After the soil ahead of the box is excavated to the elevation of the pipe, the box is slid forward to where the next pipe will be installed. Now, the soil below the crown of the pipe is dug and removed from inside the box. Note, if the trench was dug to the invert elevation first and then the box pulled in place, loose ground would fill in around the box, leaving inadequate support once the box was removed. After the soil is excavated, the box should be pushed down so that the outside wall of the box is against undisturbed trench soil. Once the box is lowered to a safe working height above the bottom of the trench, embedment material is placed within the box, and the pipe is placed in the trench. As each layer of embedment material is dumped into the box, the box is raised. The material is then shoveled under the box, and finally the lift is compacted. During this operation, workers should avoid standing under the box in case it should slip downward. This process continues until all the embedment material is placed and compacted. In the field, this process is quick and safe. Once a piece of pipe has been completely embedded, the backhoe operator prepares to move the box by digging and removing soil above the crown level of the next pipe section to be installed. The safety plate is removed and the box is moved into its new position. Next, the soil below the crown level of the pipe can be removed from inside the box. As more soil is removed, the box is pushed down. The operator continues to dig from within the box until the proper pipe grade is reached. The trench bottom is stabilized with a stone bedding. The pipe is lowered into the trench and joined. The crew places bedding along the sides of the pipe in lifts. Once the bedding level reaches the bottom of the box, the box is lifted. This is done prior to compaction. In this particular installation, because two boxes were combined, it was necessary to use a cable to reach the back. If a cable is used, it should have enough strength to safely lift the box. On most jobs, a cable is unnecessary since the backhoe can reach the back of the box. After the box is lifted, the bedding is then shoveled into the void between the embedment soil and native soil. Continue this procedure until the box is above the crown of the pipe. When spiralite pipe is placed in a casing pipe or tunnel, it is necessary to grout the annular space between the pipe and the tunnel. The grout pressure must be carefully monitored so as not to collapse the pipe. Consult your design engineer for appropriate pressure. This job here is 19 miles. Starts on with 54 through 48 to 42, down to 36, and it ends up at 30 inch. We expect to have this job uh, installed hopefully within four months from when we when from when all three crews have started. Uh, this is really easy to work with. It uh, the installation is has been going well. Everything's okay. It's very easy to work with. I like it. Yeah, it's going good. I'd rather use this than concrete pipe. What can I think? It's an excellent product. Hey! Like it. It.